teach CBSE 10 maths. Hey guys, this is Tina. I teach CBSE 8 maths. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright, now let's get into the video. Today we are going to be learning Chapter 13, Surface Areas and Volumes, Exercise 13.1, Second Question. Alright, now let's read the question. A vessel is in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder. The diameter of the hemisphere is 14 cm and the total height of the vessel is 13 cm. Find the inner surface area of the vessel. So this is the question okay so first of all i would like to say in this particular chapter no we are supposed to understand the questions okay if you understand the questions i mean we are supposed to visualize with the shapes okay uh, in the real life shapes also you can just uh, understand it and likewise you can just uh, you're supposed to solve the questions like that okay when you just understand the figures only you can just solve the question okay so now we are going to be reading line by line there is a vessel which is in the form of a hollow hemisphere hollow hemisphere means which has space okay so hollow hemisphere so what is the shape of hemisphere so hemisphere it is something like this okay okay so i'm do uh, i'm doing a rough figure okay okay so now this is the hollow hemisphere okay mounted mounted means like upon that okay so upon that is the right word okay so mounted by a hollow cylinder so mounted means attached to that particular shape so which shape here it is a hollow cylinder so we are supposed to draw like this okay okay so now we are supposed to draw a cylinder okay okay so i'm just doing a rough figure okay okay so now uh, they just mentioned these informations okay so the mounted means upon this hemisphere it's there you know, that is the meaning of mounted okay so the diameter of the hemisphere is 14 centimeter so here the diameter of hemisphere okay so diameter d is equal to 14 centimeter so what is, how to find radius so we are supposed to find this, uh, this is radius okay you can write radius as this or otherwise you can just write it with capital R okay okay so how to find radius so this is R okay don't get confused okay so how to find radius d by 2 d by 2 means diameter okay so here they mentioned diameter is 14 centimeter so 14 so in the place of the d you know we are sub supposed to substitute the value and for we are supposed, supposed to write 14 by 2 when we just cancel it once again okay so when we just cancel it we get 7 so the radius i'm gonna uh, take a small r that will be sufficient for us okay 7 centimeter okay 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 so now uh, so this is the diameter of hemisphere which is a hemisphere this one okay so this is the hemisphere okay so here uh, they mentioned the diameter right now we found the radius diameter means the complete line radius means half of the line so here the radius is 7 centimeter okay all right so then after that um, yeah and the total height of the vessel is 13 centimeters so here what are they representing the vessel vessel means uh, which is in the form of hollow hemisphere which is upon the cylinder okay so this complete figure this complete figure they are uh, uh, saying as a vessel okay okay so now um, they just told the total height of the vessel total height means the complete height okay so they just mentioned vessel My vessel means including both the figures that's why uh, uh, i'm just uh, um, i just put the arrow mark for the complete figure so what is the complete figure uh, height that is 13 centimeter so we can write 13 centimeter okay so find the inner surface area of the vessel okay so before finding that so here as you guys can see the complete height am i right okay now we know the radius okay and then uh, when we'll just apply the formula now we know the pi value as well so it is really easy okay so now i would like to show one thing okay that one 
so here they just uh, told us to find the inner surface area of the uh, vessel okay so what is that inner surface area so inner surface area means i'll show one second okay only one, one second yeah inner surface area means this inner part okay i'm just uh, marking right this inner part we are supposed to find this inner surface area okay so this is that inner surface i just highlighted a part right so this is now i'm not just highlighting this part only i'm starting from here okay so from here and uh, from here so this one we call it as inner surface area okay so we are supposed to find that inner surface area so now, now the question is are we supposed to use uh, total surface area or curved surface area that is the question am i right so don't worry guys so first of all we, what we are going to do no first of all i have a uh, i i would like to say something okay so now we have a figure am i right so they just told it is a vessel here also in the starting they told it is a vessel so which type of vessel do you guys think is this a glass am i right it is a glass then shall i get a glass for you guys then only it will be easy for you guys to uh, see that okay okay guys so now i would like i would like to show the vessel okay so the vessel is a glass cup am i right so here uh, you guys can see here we have a glass cup so this is the glass cup so according to this so as you guys can see this is the similar figure am i right so here you can see both are same am i right so here this so here something is like that uh, so you can see some uh, water stagnated here you know that is not water okay so that is just a glass piece inside it okay so don't just think that so here you can see a, a curved safe uh, curved uh, shape uh, right over here am i right so this part okay so here till uh, water is filtered so here this part is a hemisphere okay so this part is a hemisphere so you can uh, compare it here so this is a hemisphere and this one so this one here uh, you don't just take this okay so i would like to say okay now i hit that part am i right so now do you uh, do you see a uh, cylinder of course you can see a cylinder am i right so now the glass cup is made up of a cylinder and uh, so if someone asks you so you have a glass cup am i right so what are the shapes does a uh, glass cup has so glass cup has a cylinder as well as a hemisphere okay so you can see the cylinder clearly i guess the hemisphere is not clear okay now now you can see right this is a, and now you can see this is a hemisphere okay okay so from inside if you see so here it is uh, we can't see any shape from inside from outside if you see here we have a hemisphere and this is a cylinder okay so now now let's come back to the question okay so according to the question uh, question we are supposed to find the inner surface area okay okay so we are supposed to find the inner surface area inner surface area so now look at the uh, glass cup we are supposed to find this inner surface area this part okay so here so if i ask you guys to paint this glass cup what will you do so for example i'm just uh, you can think this is a paint brush and if i ask you guys to paint paint this glass cup what will you do you just you can just so we, here they mention inner surface area we are supposed to find the inner surface area so i'm asking you guys to paint the inner surface area of a glass cup so you'll paint like this am i right so while painting it do you see, feel a curved shape here then we are uh, so you can feel a curved uh, shape so so here you can see so here i'm not touching the down part i'm just touching this part okay so i'm uh, so if someone asks you to paint a glass cup you just paint like this am i right so while painting it so you are just painting the curved surface inside am i right i'm painting the curved surface then i am supposed to find the curved surface area of a cylinder i'm painting cylinder now okay so some most of the glass cups no they used to have a hollow shape so here you can, so since here we have like this thing no uh, we can't just see that okay so so we can uh, some most of the glass cup no it used to have hollow shape here okay so here you can see this hollow shape so uh, so if i ask you guys to paint that hollow uh, shape as well i mean that hollow hemisphere why why because they mention the inner surface area. inner surface area includes cylinder as well as the uh, hemisphere am i right so now i painted the cylinder i am supposed to paint the edge as well am i right so now i am painting the edge am i right so while painting the edge no uh, am i painting the curved thing yeah of course 
so i am just uh, painting it so here you can see this is the uh, hemisphere okay so i am just painting this hemisphere okay so i am just uh, painting it like curved shape am i right so since i am painting curved for both the shapes hemisphere uh, sorry uh, cylinder as well as hemisphere i am going to be uh, taking the curved surface area of hemisphere plus curved surface area of cylinder okay why uh, as you guys know we are supposed to find the inner surface area so now if i ask you guys to paint it you will just paint it like this you will paint the cylinder like this and you will paint the hemisphere uh, sorry hemisphere like this okay you, uh, you used to paint it like this i made it so we are just painting the curved thing here also curved down also curved and here also curved just because i'm painting the curved surface no i'm just um, i am just using curved surface area okay so what is the meaning of curved surface area curved surface area means uh, the curved surface so here this is a surface am i right we just say this is a surface so here there is a surface we just say like that am i right so we are just painting the curved surface okay so that is the meaning of a curved surface area total surface area means uh, we are painting even this part so this edge and all if you are just painting this edge as well then we can just take so this edge and here also okay so if we are just uh, painting the complete thing if i just turn this whole glass cup into pink color then everything here also here also then i am supposed to find the curved surface here just because they mention we are supposed to find the inner surface area we are just painting inner only the uh, this part okay so here i just put uh, put my hand here right so inside what uh, so my hand is fitting inside so what if, so i just uh, put my hand like that no so i am supposed to paint only this part okay that mean inside where my hand is rolling right now okay i am supposed to paint only this part not the outer thing why because inner means inside okay okay now you i guess uh, you just uh, visualize the figure so now it is pretty easy am i right now i hope you guys know uh, why i took curved surface area okay so now i am going to be writing first of all i am going to be writing inner surface area is equal to so in the inner surface area what all things are there uh, cylinder as well as hemisphere am i right so i, I just I, i will be able to paint only the curved thing am i right Uh, i mean uh, so for example then only uh, you will understand okay uh, so uh, i am able to paint only the cylinder that is the uh, curved uh, surface of the cylinder as well as the curved surface of the hemisphere just because i am able to paint the curved surface of the cylinder as well as the hemisphere i am going to be using that formula okay all right so now let us write that okay now let us write inner surface area of vessel so please write a uh, surface area as a uh, full uh, word that is s u r i f a c e and a r e a why because if you just write it uh, like short form like yes and all no you won't just uh, get a mark you might lose your mark okay okay so now we are supposed to find the inner surface area of the vessel vessel means that a particular glass okay you are supposed to mention vessel since according to the question they mentioned it as vessel okay all right so now uh, we are supposed to find the inner surface area of vessel so i just told you i am going to be uh, writing curved surface area of cylinder plus curved surface area i am going to be finding these two values why why because i told you okay okay so only the curved shapes okay all right so what is the formula for um, curved uh, surface area of cylinder 2 pi r h okay this is r okay don't get confused my r is like this only okay i'm sorry okay so then plus then what is the curved surface area of hemisphere 2 pi r square okay so now okay so now we can just take it as common why because uh, so uh, let me just draw the figure here as well okay so i i can just uh, draw it here right one second okay guys so i'll draw the figure here okay so first the hemisphere so try to draw the figures properly and which is mounted upon a cylinder so most of the time no 
in exams you might face questions about cylinder and hemisphere right? because that is the um, um, that is the important figures uh, not an important figure most probably you know they used to uh, ask like this type of question only like cylinder hemisphere they used to uh, use these two shapes only okay but still you are supposed to practice all the sums then only uh, you'll be able to solve anything okay so you can't just believe it am i right whatever of questions they might ask for exam okay so now we have a cylinder and a hemisphere so since it is now according to the question uh, the radius we just found the radius so the radius is uh, 7 centimeter yeah 7 centimeter and then the total height the high total height means the complete height okay so the complete height is 13 centimeter okay okay so now since you guys know the radius and 13 centimeter now we can solve it okay so now here uh, since you guys know this radius uh, is for cylinder as well as hemisphere am i right so here you can see this is the bottom of the cylinder as well as the uh, uh, as well as the part of a hemisphere am i right so here this is the bottom of the this shape is there now this uh, shape is the bottom of a cylinder as well as the um, starting i mean here hemisphere is like this am i right so hemisphere also it is uh, it it is like something like this only even it has this shape okay so, uh, so it is the bottom of the cylinder as well as a uh, part of hemisphere okay so for so since the bo both the part you know both the shapes uh, which are mounted together mounted means which is attached joined okay so those are the words common words they just uh, used advanced uh, english right over there okay that's why uh, you might have got confused mounted means upon a joint like that okay so it is joint am i right so hemisphere and cylinder it is joint so like this it is joint so now since they are joined now now we got a vessel what is that vessel glass cup okay okay so now we got a glass cup okay all right so now uh, so here for a cylinder as well as the hemisphere the radius is 7 cm okay so now uh, now let us come back to the formula so according to the formula we have 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square okay now here we have 2 pi r h so here we have 2 pi r and here also we have 2 pi r am i right so here uh, here it is square no problem so we can just take 2 pi r as common okay so here uh, both the sides no uh, i'm just taking 2 pi r as common why why because here also 2 here also 2 here also pi here also pi that's why and here also r and here also uh, it's r so since it is r square no, i just took 1 r okay all right so now let us write uh, the rest of the things in bracket so let us write h and then plus okay h and then plus and here it was r square right one r i just took it as common another r write it like that okay so now is equal to so we can just uh, substitute the values right yeah so 2 into pi value uh, 22 by 7 22 by 7 into r value i told uh, radius is 7 okay and then bracket so what is the h h means uh, here it is height am i right okay so hey here uh, since you guys know this h belongs to cylinder or hemisphere that is the question now so this h uh, so according to the formula here we have 2 pi r h so this formula it is for cylinder am i right so uh, what is the height of the cylinder height means this part okay so what is the height of the uh, cylinder so here since we uh, since you guys know height of the vessel is 13 centimeter am i right height of the complete vessel is 13 centimeter but we don't know the height for uh, the separate shapes am i right so for that how to find means so here since you guys know we have radius is uh, 7 centimeter okay so here uh, if you guys come down like this then here also here it uh, here also it will be 7 centimeter am i right why why because here also we'll get the same thing okay layer by layer like that you can think okay so here also radius here also radius here also radius so the this one the hemisphere will have lot of layers like this am i right 
so likewise okay so here also we have lot of layers for so that layer will be in this shape only okay so for that layer also we have a radius am i right so the ra that radius is also 7 cm why because the radius here it's you know 7 cm this 7 cm is for the whole figure okay so here hemisphere for this complete hemisphere no radius is 7 cm okay so since here it is radius we can just write 7 cm okay so like this i just wrote it right over here okay so here the radius is 7 cm okay all right so of course you guys know hemisphere has pi pi means uh, 22 by uh, 20, 22 by 7 and radius okay so that is the uh, uh, values for hemisphere okay remember hemisphere you know it used to have radius as well as pi it we don't have uh, this one what is it height okay so cylinder has height okay so here since you guys know uh, so for radius since you guys know it has a radius that is 7 centimeter i just wrote it as it is okay so now how to find the height of the cylinder it seems a little bit tricky but don't worry guys so here since we have a value that is 7 centimeter here we have 13 then i can uh, say 13 minus 7 am i right so what is 13 minus 7 so 13 minus 7 is 6 am i right so so when we just minus it we got 6 then we can write 6 centimeter for which one the height of the cylinder okay this is how we are supposed to find the um, height of the cylinder okay so remember guys so for particular shapes now we might have uh, height uh, length those things are for cuboid no of course you guys know uh, cuboid has length breadth and one more thing height okay and then what about um, hemisphere hemisphere has r radius okay radius and pi we can say like that okay so these are the things which you learned uh, in 8th and 9th as well so it, it, it won't be that much difficult i guess okay all right so now uh, instead of h now we can just write 6 plus r so what is r radius so so radius is the same for both the cylinder as well as hemisphere so we can write 7 okay so now we are supposed to cancel it okay uh, i would like to uh, say uh, something to you guys okay so here uh, you guys might be wondering is it important is it necessary to take common things like this yes guys so i would like to say i would like to suggest you guys to take it as common then only you will get the proper answer okay so if you uh, so if you just try it simply like this also it will be very hard guys i tried it so it'll be really hard so please never do that okay so please take it as common okay because most of the problems i had uh, seen that we used to take it as common so please guys take it as common okay all right so why because i tried it like this also but i didn't get, just get the answer mm, i uh, so when i just took it as common no i got the answer i uh, so and, and the two I, I was able to save the time also okay so i just taught you guys how to take it as common so i guess you won't uh, you guys won't feel it difficult uh, to take it as common so please guys take it as common okay then then only you'll be able to save your time during the exam okay so please never uh, do it like that okay come uh, so without taking as common uh, directly like they don't do it please uh, take it as common then only it will be easy for you guys to save your time as well as you will get that proper answer okay sometimes if you don't just take it as common we won't get that proper answer okay so now we can just cancel it we can cancel the 7 7 uh, yeah that's all we can cancel okay now is equal to so 22 into 22 uh, so we can just write it uh, as it is now that is here 22 here it is 2 i just wrote it as it is and then 6 plus 7 it is 13 so we can write into 13 okay so why because here it's in bracket into okay all right so now 22 into 2 is 44 into 13 and then 40 44 into 13 is 572 and then uh, what is the unit we are supposed to write we are supposed to write centimeter square okay so this is the answer okay so finally we got the answer so what is the inner surface area of vessel 
So the inner surface area of a cell is 572 centimeters square. Okay. So I hope you guys know how to find it. Okay. So remember for hemis uh, hemisphere, no, we used to have radius, not a height. Okay. So we are uh, so for the entire figure, no. Uh, so here, uh, if you know the radius of the hemisphere for the entire figure, it will be of course the uh, same value. Okay. So here, if it is, so here we had uh, seven centimeter, right? In case if I say uh, fourteen centimeter, okay. So in case the radius of this hemisphere is fourteen centimeter, means for the complete figure it will be fourteen centimeter only. Okay. No change at all. Okay. I hope you guys know uh, the things and properties how to apply uh, the formula, those things and all okay so just visualize the thing how i did it with the cup okay so remember so if someone asks you what is the what are the shapes which um, which are there in a uh, glass cup or whatever it is so we have a hemisphere and a cylinder okay so here you can see so i would like to show something so here you can see right so there is a line so there is a line and uh, uh, down uh, so here you can see the thick edge and then under that, you know, you have a curved thing, right? So that curved thing inside, it's you know. So inside, this is that curved thing which uh, uh, which we are seeing right over here. So this curved thing, you know, that is a hemisphere, and this is a cylinder. Okay, it is pretty easy to find the cylinder, but you guys won't believe. Oh, is there really a uh, hemisphere in glass cup? Even I used to wonder, you know. So after visualizing it only, I understood that. Okay, so most of the cups. Uh, it, it used to be there. You can check it out in glass cups. In steel cup, no, it, I guess it is hard to find the hemisphere. Okay. So, you can just take it. So, yeah, now you can find it. Am I right? So, this white part. So, you can see my handwriting down. Am I right? Okay. So, now you can see the white part, right? This white is that hemisphere. So, it is in the hemisphere shape like this. Am I right? And then now this is a cylinder. Okay. So, finally, we solved how to uh, find the glass cups i mean inner surface area of the vessel that is a glass cup okay okay so here they mentioned vessel as uh, uh, vessel they according to the question they mentioned vessel so uh, so when we just uh, draw the figure no then we'll understand what type of vessel it is so what type of vessel it is a glass cup otherwise a cup okay whatever it is you can just mention that we just found the inner surface area of this glass cup okay Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any doubt, comment me in the comment section. Catch you in the next video. Bye.